Well, good Friday, Main Street Baptist Church. Uh, the scripture I want to read for you on the day of our Lord's death is in the Gospel of Matthew, leaving Luke tonight and going to Matthew chapter 27, starting in verse 24. So when Pilate saw that he was gaining nothing, but rather that a riot was beginning, he took water and washed his hands before the crowd, saying, I am innocent of this man's blood. See to it yourselves. And all the people answered, His blood be on us and our children. Then he released for them Barabbas, and having scourged Jesus, delivered him to be crucified. So here Jesus has uh, already been arrested uh, since Judas betrayed him. He's gone before Caiaphas, the high priest, that year, and then to Pilate, and they are demanding his crucifixion and the exchange of Barabbas, a thief, a criminal of some kind, who was to be uh, uh, crucified, to, to be judged that day. But instead, they wanted Jesus to be crucified. So Pilate saw that only a riot was forming, and so instead of uh, doing any type of role as a, a judge, he decided to just wash his hands of that, as I mentioned yesterday, to say, his blood is not on my hands, I am innocent of this man's blood, I'm going to give him over to your hands. So he gives them over to the crowd, and the crowd give this just shocking answer. You can see the the deepest, cruel part of humanity here in their answer. They say, His blood be on us and our children. They are so proud to deliver Jesus, to be crucified, that they don't only want to be themselves responsible for His death. They want even their children and their offspring to be held responsible for the death of this man. Um, and that is just stomach turning uh, to think that they they want to be so responsible for for this man's death uh, but Barabbas was released he was freed and the transaction was made Jesus was scourged and he was delivered up to be crucified and here on this day Good Friday we remember the Lord's death and we remember not only his death but we remember uh, his blood being on our hands. We, with scoffing voices, cry out among the crowd. We were there when we crucified our Lord, how he hung for some six hours, uh, for three hours at least, suffering and um, dying, and then finally breathing his last and saying it is finished, being given nothing but uh, sour wine to drink from a sponge and uh, the curtain of the temple would be torn in two, while simultaneously the Father's uh, face would be turned away from him. And Jesus would cry out, why have you forsaken me? And we see all of this happening so quickly. Uh, and the sky would turn black, and the soldiers would look up and testify this was the Son of God. There'd be an earthquake, and tombs would shake, and people would get up out of the ground, and, and something unbelievable happened that day. Uh, and here again is this dichotomy where we realize the death of Jesus is at our hands. Some people uh, wonder, what are we responsible for? We weren't there when Jesus uh, died. It was the Jews. It wasn't us. But here the Jews so proud to proclaim, let his blood not only be on us, but also on our children. And we are sons of Adam. All of us have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. We have committed blasphemous acts that caused a atonement to be necessary. Uh, so we brought Jesus to the cross. None of us are excused from the death of Jesus and its cause. Uh, at the same time, as we want to be the ones who kiss Judas or, or kiss Jesus as Judas kissed him, so we also be, want to be the ones that proudly declare his blood on our hands. Because aside from his blood, we have no salvation. We 
want to participate in the death of Jesus because there we find the right Lamb of God being slain for our sins. And yet at the same time, we feel our stomachs churn at the realization that we are the ones that caused the death of Jesus. So that's what we think about on this Good Friday. That's what we remember. Jesus would be buried soon, and it would have to be done uh, as the uh, preparation for the Sabbath day was being made. And the whole world would kind of turn still with wondering if his promise would hold true, if, if this was the end of this man. Uh, Barabbas was released. Um, he went on to live, and I don't know if he thought much about this man that took his place on the cross, but we certainly do on Good Friday. Uh, not only were we the ones responsible for his death, but it should have been us. We deserve the cross. We deserve not only the cross, but the very wrath of God uh, for our sin. We deserve eternal punishment. But Thanks be to God who's given his only son. And so we remember our sin and repent this week on this Good Friday fasting uh, and, and singing a song that uh, hopefully you've heard before called How Deep the Father's Love for Us. It was in our fasting schedule to sing together as a family. Um, so if you haven't heard it, here it is, uh, How Deep the Father's Love. The lyrics are posted below. Mm -hmm. How deep the Father's love for us, how vast beyond all measure that He should give His only Son to make a wretch His treasure. How great the pain of searing loss The Father turns His face away As wounds which mar the chosen one Bring many sons to glory Behold the man upon the cross, my sin upon his shoulders, the shame I hear my It was my sin that held him there Until it was accomplished His dying death has brought me life I know that it Verse 3, I will not boast in anything, no gifts, no power, no wisdom, but I will boast in Jesus Christ, His death and resurrection. I gain from his reward. I cannot give an answer, but this I know with all my heart. His wounds have paid my ransom. Why should I gain from his reward. I cannot give an answer.
answer, but this I know with all my heart, his wounds have paid my ransom. It is Good Friday, but Easter is coming. I'll see you soon.